Bedford Blues put their disappointing B&I Cup home defeat against Kroskis to bed with a crushing 48-10 bonus point victory over the Welshmen at Pandy Park on Saturday. The superb win keeps quarter-final qualification hopes alive, yet they were made to work for the possession early on in the match. Keys opened the scoring through a James Ledbetter penalty before James Pritchard levelled proceedings shortly after. The difference in quality didn't take long to show, however, as Mike Gray's men turned the screw, having travelled in search of revenge. Man of the match, Harry Wells, scored the first try, powering through a huge gap in the home side's defence before diving under the posts as Jake Sharp pulled the strings. Pritchard comfortably added the conversion. Keys went down to 14 men a quarter of the way in, as Dragons centre Jack Dixon pulled a Blues player down without the ball for a certain try. But it didn't take Bedford long to make the most of the advantage, as Henry Staff rounded two players to set up Pat Tapley for a well-taken score. Tapley's effort was successfully converted by the Canadian international, having made the angle better by cutting inside the final man. Tapley then squeezed in his second try and Bedford's third, just before the break, as the Blues ran riot. Dean Adamson on the other wing, the creator, as he chased down his own kick before turning the ball over in the opposition's 22 and allowing the halfbacks to spread the ball wide. Pritchard with the final assist, holding the perfect line to send Tapley across the whitewash unopposed. Again, Pritchard converted for a well-deserved 27-3 half-time lead. Mike Rea's men continued to dominate after the interval. Replacement Paul Tupai sealed the fourth and bonus point try for the visitors from a driving line-out as Keyes saw both their captain Scott Matthews and substitute prop Richard Connock in the sim bin. Keyes' discipline continued to let them down as Bedford were awarded a penalty try with the clock ticking, as the Blues pack really rammed home their defence at the set piece. A successful conversion from Sharp widened the Blues lead to 41-3 with just five minutes left on the clock. Jack Maynard found time for a Keyes' consolation try before he converted his own score but it was soon overlooked as Bedford scored their sixth and final converted try in the remaining two minutes of the match as Tupai grabbed a brace. This time, the Samoan was a beneficiary of a breakout by the backs, with quality assists from Pritchard and Latterley Adamson as the supporting Tupai touched down directly under the posts, leaving the score as Kroski's 10, Bedford Blues 48.